G'day everyone. So I'm here to meet Kylie from PRD who's going to help me sell a house. Hello Kylie. I'm alright, how are you? Thank you. Okay guys, so I'm just pulling into Coomera Springs to do an appraisal on a house over here at Rain Lily. Which I... Nice, big one isn't it? So that is what I have to go and appraise. The uh, reason he called me in is because of my media presence. Apparently he saw me a lot in the magazines and newspapers, so he knows my name. Which is great, because I haven't really um, prospected the area yet. So it's good to know that everything I'm doing is going to have a few results and uh, exposure, I suppose. And he's not going to sell to about mid next year, but that's fine because it gives me a chance to really build a rapport and, and build that relationship. So when I get that, he's going to trust me enough to list it for a price that will sell pretty much immediately. So great, uh, great outcome, and he's going to go on one of my trails. Okay, so I'm just going to meet the photographer at the house here, who she's from the Bulletin to do a nice cover story for me, and I had to drive my uh, my other car to get me here a bit faster because I'm running a little bit late. So let's go in and take uh, a few photos. So just dropping off a entry notice into the house of uh, of a house that we sold for full price, which is that one right there. So I always like talking to tenants first rather than dropping off notices. I think it's a lot nicer. One more phone call. I was going to go home, but it's always one more phone call. Got to finish my prospecting. I heard a few, few things there. One more. Let's see what we, what happens. Hey guys, just over at my local um, Woolies, and the power's gone out, so I can't buy any chicken. I was going to have roast chicken and coleslaw, but I can't have that. Well, I'm getting some strange looks from people. Um, the prospecting went really well today. So the uh, last two phone calls I did was to people that I've got um, one lady's actually got three houses to sell and the other guy has got four houses to sell. So all up is there's uh, seven possible listings, which is great for prospecting. So, because what I want to do is, even though we got three sales yesterday, is um, to keep the prospecting up because I don't want to ride any waves. I want to make sure that I sell and list and, and I never go backwards, that my listings stay the same and I have the same benchmark. So um, it's really important, I think, uh, go this way, it's really important, I think, to, um, to make sure that your service area has got enough um, money that you can bring from it. So mine, my core area would only have about 500 I think, um, whereas, because um, I can expand, so luckily these listings are in different areas, I can reach my million dollars. So I think it's really important to get some KPIs, look at your service area, look how much commissions you can pull out of it, and see if that reaches your target. So that's something you should keep a, a definite eye on before you start a, a journey like this. So I can help you out with stuff like that. And the other thing I want to say is a quote that I wrote down today, which is, success is self-created and so is failure. So I haven't got an option to fail, I have to create it success. And, um, and I hope that's what you guys enjoy as well throughout my journey. So look forward to tomorrow and see how I go. All right, see you later. Hey guys, today's Thursday and it is going to be a busy day. No he's telling you what I'm going to do yet because you'll see it through the video, so I might as well just keep it that way. I had a quick chat to uh, my mate Matt Steinwade, who uh, rang at 5.46 this morning because I know he's an early riser. And um, we're probably going to do, oh he wants to do an interview with me for 15 minutes over Skype. So never use Skype, it'll be a bit interesting. Just watching that back on the screen, I really got to get a bit of a better shave and a tan, don't I? Hmm, opinions? So just in down to Coomera Waters to have a look a, at a house here and she also owns another property in Rabina and one in Surface Paradise. So basically I could get three listings in one but this is the kind of uh, weather that we're having. So nice and wet. Just arriving to another bar inspection for this house right over there. So let's see how we go with this one, hey? They uh, want me to email them a letter of offer, so let's see how that goes, and if it's a good offer, that's another one sold. Okay, so back to the previous property, so I can continue talking to the vendor. I had to uh, rush to a bar inspection, but um, waterfront house right here. Alright, so just leaving the house, I've got one signature on my contract. Um, I've got to travel down to Ipswich, which is like another 40 minute drive to get the other signature, but that's okay, because I've got targets to meet. And I've just something I want to add on, this contract that I'm, going, I'm getting signed, um, it's just a cheapie, it's, it's a house that's 300 and and 25 grand what they finally agreed to. The buyers came in at 315, I got up to 325. The owners are happy to accept 325. But I went that extra step and I know the buyers would have paid more so I still negotiated a deal after the owners told me what they would take and that they'd accept it. And I got them 330. Now, 
a lot of real estate agents wouldn't do that because the extra five thousand dollars in my commission only makes a difference of seventy five dollars but to the owners it is a big thing for them five thousand dollars at that range i mean they loved it as soon as i told them they could not believe their ears and i think that's what makes a difference between a really good real estate agent that cares about what they do and someone just want to get to want to get the deal done so I see myself as a professional negotiator, that is my job, that's what they employ me to do, and I tell that to all my sellers, and a story like these, that um, that gets you more listings, is they go out and they tell people, and I'm not just an order taker, so if there's anything you can do, become a professional negotiator, and let your sellers know, you do things like this, and it just wins your clients for life. Hey guys, so a bit of a wrap up for today. Um, I got back to the office and I spoke to a lady who wants to sell a block of land and she was after, because she's going to lose a bit of money on it, a discounted commission but I don't do discounted commissions and after explaining to her what we do and how many we're selling and she wanted to come with us anyway so she wants an agent to perform and she's going to send through the form so that objection was easily overcome. The lady at Kuma Waters, now I could have pushed and tried to get the three listings straight away but because of the way she was raised in, uh, she was raised in Japan and, and did work like that so over there it's all about building rapport, building a friendship and then asking for the job later. So I've done it that way because I know that's the way she's been brought up and that's her, the way her brain uh, you know, is, is set to work. So um, I think I like it that way anyway because I want to build a bit of trust. She's got it as an open listing with a few agents who are not doing anything and two of them didn't even turn, out, didn't even turn up to their open houses. So I've showed her my marketing, I've showed her her videos, i showed her how we do things and I know she's impressed. So. She'll eventually come across, I'm just going to take my time with this one and get three listings but get three good ones. Um, today we also had a settlement, so a sale that Clinton made, settled at, uh, at 2.30, so he's happy and that's another one down to our tally. Um, I've got the, the offer that's all been signed off, so now I've got a, a house on the contract, as you know from, from later, uh, earlier today. And just overall, I've done my three face-to-faces, so that's great. I've done a few warm calls, I didn't get any prospecting done though. But I, I know that I've got Saturday blocked off, so that is where I'm going to do my prospecting, 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 because I have to replace the ones that I've sold and I've got to gear up for next year. So overall, it's, it's really good. It's really ramping up. The sales are starting to come along earlier than I expected, um, probably earlier than I wanted because I wanted these to happen in January. But that is okay. So I'm going to keep going and prospect my little butt off, and hopefully you guys can uh, do the same and follow me along. Looking forward to cracking a million bucks next year. Chat to you tomorrow.